Huh? Ah. Ta-da. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Half Piggy Gaming. Welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. We're playing with the Half Piggies here. Last time we leveled up Billy. No, not Billy the Bull. We leveled up Squint Eastwood and we lucked out, rolled a double, and got him claws for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me why. I think it's gonna be cool. I think he's gonna be injuring a bunch of uh, people. Uh, also, we could uh, like get mighty blow with this guy too, and sort of make him like the really dangerous guy. And and I don't I don't know. Maybe we can luck out. This are these guys able to get an extra strength? I mean, that would just be sick. But I mean, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about this. I must say. I must say. And now we're going to be playing against the Kislev Circus. I just want to see you real quick. How much before any of my Hobgoblins level up? Oh, I'm missing a Hobgoblin. Good thing I saw this. We're going to go ahead and buy another player right now. Which means that we can... Wait one second. Wait one second. Oh, these guys are 130. And the Minion Tower is 150. Okay. So we're just gonna get our uh, our hobgoblin. Now, of course, we could just try and save up, save up the money, try and do one more game with a journeyman, and then hopefully have enough. Nah, let's just buy another player. We have time, we have plenty of time. Let's buy another player. How should he look? What should he look like? This this guy sort of looks like the evil gremlin. Arr, yeah. Um, we did mi uh, lose out on Ned the Nose. Who looked like that. Um, we I think we have two guys who looks like this. Um... Sort of looks a bit random. Well, that's, uh, I think this is what Smiley looked like. So we're gonna make another guy here, and we're gonna call him. Um, we're gonna call him um, Freddy. Freddy the. Freddy, Freddy. Freddy. We're just gonna call him Freddy. <laughs> that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy him and call him Freddy. Welcome to the team, Freddy. Maybe just Fred. Freddy. Fred. Fred. Freddy. It's too late now. Let's confirm the purchase. And yeah, we have Freddy on the... Oh! I think the color of his sort of uh, thing is... <laughs> of his face paint is matching the color of the jerseys that is that's pretty good that's pretty good i like that okay so without further ado without even further ado let's start the match against the kislev circus now i don't too know too much about the kislev circus but i guess we're gonna find out um yeah let's just hit next and see what they do they buy an extra team training which I mean, it's a way to spend money. I don't even know too much. That's just the next reroll, I think. Which is a good and all. I mean, good on him. But I would not spend that much cash trying to get one more reroll. But I did spend a lot of uh, cash on rerolls to begin with. So maybe he didn't. I don't know. We're in Wissenland, Wissenland Park. And we're playing here, Erin Erringrad Springs. Now they have the bears, and they're probably pretty ferocious and dangerous, so I should watch out for that. But I'm not too worried. Now they're probably going to choose to attack. Yes, they are. They have one bear. It has strength a strength of five. It has a tail for some reason. I don't I don't really see a tail, but. Um, maybe it's the chain that sort of has the tail effect. It has mighty blow. It is a loner. 
So re-rolls, I'm not going to be too good on this guy, but he has, and he has Bonehead, which is also uh, not the best. So there's that. I don't think he has Wild Animal. He probably should have. He's a tame bear. Maybe because he's so tame. Um, he does not have Wild Animal. Now the other guys have a strength of three, so I'm not too worried about that. And I think I'm actually going to uh, put up Billy the Bull next to this guy. And sort of make the aggressive the aggressive uh, defense happen here I think I'm gonna be quite happy about that and just have my little hobgoblins way out there and then this guy in here in the middle yeah I think I'm gonna be just fine with this and go ahead and go oh did I put my Big armor value, guys. I should have. I should have put uh, many of the mustache in the middle. It is a high kick, and they're gonna be able to move a guy right in there and to try and catch it. And he, indeed, he does. He he has a pretty good armor value. It looks like he can jump or something. Of course, if if they're like a circus, he, he they're probably pretty acrobatic. They do only have an agility of uh, three. Some of them. The catcher here has an agility of 4, which is pretty good, but his strength is only th uh, 2. So I could try and take out the catchers. Now what I should do is just really bash on the guys with an armor value of 7. Now these guys have an armor value of 8. It, it is a bit hard to tell these guys apart, and I'm going to have to look into uh, which which guy, which who guy I'm going to try and bash on but yeah let's see uh, you have three okay can you get something no we're gonna have to try and try and get these down a little bit now do I really want to just start out with a one die rolls I think I do actually I think I just want to try and break through try to break through like that and you can go ahead and follow actually that will be just fine now how does this look now if we can do this and on the other side as well hope for the best that is only going to be a push but that is also just fine and you go ahead and follow and now we should have a pretty decent roll here against the bear yeah here we go Suck it, Snowpelt. We have block on this guy, so that's going to be fine. And Snowpelt is down. Then we can use our Blitz up here, maybe? No, we cannot for some reason. But we can use it right here. Yeah, so I'm just going to sort of mark off these guys. Now, they're probably not going to have too hard of a time. They're not going to have too hard of a time um, getting out of here. He probably has a pretty decent agility, yeah, and he can probably jump over him or some sort of crazy stuff. We're going to have to watch out for that. Now, I might just want to use the Blitz for something else. Try and get some of these guys down, but no, I think I'm just going to mark and be happy with that. Manny the Mustache, go up here and beat on this guy. And you do get him indeed a little bit down and you can go ahead and run up here yes that is gonna be just fine now I forgot that we have our safety net in Freddy down here Freddy our new star player <laughs> well, maybe allegedly um, yeah so I think this is gonna be okay I, I do want to have a bit of a safety net and with the bear down I'm not too too worried now I am going to be pretty excited to get another bull and eventually another miniature tower. That is going to be pretty darn exciting, but yeah. And what's going to happen here? Not too much. He is going to use a blitz though, which is one way to use a blitz. He did not use a reroll already, so he still has that as well. But yeah, he's he wasn't quite able to get out of my way. And now, something's going to happen out here on the right flank. 
they're gonna run out here and yeah he has no problem getting out of the way so yeah that is not the best now i have a bunch of guys locked down but fortunately i have my safety net here he does not manage to get out of the way of him and the he actually chooses not to re-roll it and there's a stun so that is a pretty good start now let's see what else i can sort of come up with if i do like this yes i get a two die roll that is a very good start you go ahead and follow now I can do something like that yeah now I am going to that is only a one die roll now I want to pressure this guy as much as I possibly can um, that is actually two dice that is very good the the catchers are quite weak go ahead and follow boom and the low armor value is really uh, coming to show here great so that is gonna make our lives a little bit easier now what I could do is I could actually get this guy up here to sort of lend a hand but maybe not really too too much yeah no cuz this guy is locking him down so that did not work out too much I think that we're gonna take a chance and maybe open it up so that we can attack the ball carrier directly. That would be pretty great. Well, I guess I c you can't see the claws. They're just sort of uh, on his gloves or something. Was that there? I don't know if it was on the picture, but it, it should have been. Now we can definitely see that Squint Eastwood has some claws and he is not afraid to use them. And I think that we're just gonna uh, start bashing a bit and see if we can sort of injure some guys to do something that would be pretty darn great go ahead and follow now it would be pretty good to enter the little guys see both their shirtless manly guys they are just down because of their low strength now we're gonna take a bit of a chance here did work out like that but now i don't have the hole that i wanted to i can still do like this but i'm I think I'm gonna have to go for it actually is he going for it no he's not I think that is gonna be a pretty good roll and hopefully we're gonna be rewarded with something pretty great yes we are and you're gonna follow yeah now where's the ball gonna go it's gonna go way 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 back there which is probably not the best for me but I might be able to go downfield a little bit with this guy let's see what we can make happen what can we make happen this is a one on one this is probably a one on one too now I do have block on this guy so I'm not that scared yeah and you follow as such and yeah we're pretty fast running out of the great options <clears throat> follow not sure what skills they have I think it's elite or something okay so that was a pretty good start here let's see what they can do to come back from this I'm sure that they can pull something out of their behinds and that is definitely what they're gonna try a pretty bad start for that um, and they have already used their rerolls I'm not sure how keen they're gonna be on uh, making some risky rolls oh and without a re-roll he cannot re-roll that that should have been a pretty safe dodge but no he is out and he is even knocked out which is just just great which also mean and now some of my guys have pretty a pretty high advantage on their rolls and I can try to even get them more injured now this guy with claws is definitely he's hungry hungry for the blood and he's gonna go ahead and follow uh, didn't work out this time but sooner or later it will it definitely will now let's try and get this guy out of the field you're out of there yeah just a gentle gentle nudge just out the field boom and he stomped on his face now does he get an injury no I don't think he is 
he is just gonna be out for this duration of this run which is also quite good don't get me wrong I am just wanting more blood than that but you can't get it you can't get it all you can't always get what you want yeah I think I'm actually gonna do it with this guy uh, he had block so that is very good that means I can run up here with this guy and they're two on one here Hans Gruber for the win I'm gonna push him out of the way and you're gonna go ahead and follow make sure he stays down um, that is only one this is probably only one as well um, maybe I would like to try to run this guy in here that should make it a bit more even and hopefully I can get that guy down and I do I want to start out with doing that yeah, because I think uh, I'm I'm in such an advantage here that I think it's going to be fine. And I think I would really like to see their bear going down. Now, is this... Yeah, it is a one-die roll and I would like that. Mm, okay. I think he's going to have to follow. Even though I'm not too keen on that. Okay. We have a couple of more one-die rolls. And I, I am, I'm wanting to do that, actually. Yeah, and it pays off, which is just great. Go ahead and follow. Injure him. No, he's not going to be injured. Now, an armor value of 8 is uh, the standard, and uh, it does mean that he they're not going to go down too, too much. Go ahead and follow. There is something going on there. It is a stun. Look at all the guys just laying down on the field. It is very nice. And now... I feel it's pretty much open for me to try and pick up the ball. It might not work out, and I might not even re-roll it if it doesn't. Okay, so where do we want to go? We want to go as far away from these guys as possible, and I th have a feeling that Little Green is going to be pretty safe, and if he scores, he is going to level up. Little Green might just turn out to be our new star player. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. Let us just finish this darn thing hopefully with as many casualties on their side and as few casualties on my side as absolutely humanly possible now oh he rolls a bonehead and he is a loner so no re-rolls for you and there we go that was very good that limits his options quite a lot he jumps over that must mean uh, yeah he has very long legs and he can sort of leap over the, these guys and my guys are quite short so it is not without the realm of possibilities now I do want to um, sort of just see if I can injure some of their players and I'm quite keen on making these claws work out Let's see if that is something we can make happen yeah something is happening and he is knocked out which is great because all of the guys that are knocked out, they're going to have to roll and see if they can come back into the game after this. Now, can I do something like this? No, that is not going to be working out too well for me. Now, I might be able to free up some space if I can just, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to give it a good old shot. And stay. Boom! The low armor value of these means that Nestor Tsvetsachovary is dead. Which also gives our guy a bunch of uh, points. Or maybe not a bunch, but two points. Grandpa Gunther is back in the game. He had not received any points before that. So, yeah, that was good on him. Good on him. And uh, we're just going to keep on bashing. Keep on keeping on, you know. You got to follow. Which means that this might be a bit better. Not too good. Not too good. Not too bad either. And I think that we're going to get some pretty good stuff out of this. Yeah. Now, all we're trying to do is... All we're trying to do is enter as many guys as possible. And I think I'm actually even going to try and see if somebody can get down this bear yeah we have two let's try it 
we does get we do get him down, but I mean the chance of him going down down is not very good. Yeah, he is just gonna he's just gonna lay down, and take a bit of a nap. Now, do we want to take some chances? I feel like maybe we do, because these guys do not have block, so I feel pretty safe doing it. He is down, and he is just gonna be stunned. And let's see here. He's gonna go down as well. And that is gonna be it. So, Little Green can safely just run into the end zone and score! Little Green scored for the half piggies. Excellent! Yeah. And he's gonna be ready to level up after this. And hopefully, we can get a really good roll again and uh, make him like a crazy star player. That is also that is always the exciting part is is leveling leveling up your guys and see what's gonna happen. See, I mean you gotta love the randomness of this. It's sort of like gambling, but in a less dangerous way. Let's confirm our setup. I like this, and let's see where it takes us. I think this is the safest as we can get. Go ahead and kick it. There's a riot. Both team loses a turn. Now that is not too bad for me. It might be a little bad for them. That means they only have three turns to sort of make things happen, but it might be enough. Uh, we probably shouldn't uh, underestimate the the agility of these guys. They can probably do some passing and do some pretty annoying stuff. So let's see what happens, shall we? Let's see what happens. They're running into the position now. These these uh, bareback guys, they they just they're just asking for it. They're just asking to be hit and hit hard without armor at all. They're just like dancing around there on the field. Yeah, they're going down. They're going down hard. Ah. Uh, okay. So what's gonna go? It's only gonna be a push. Now they do have a reroll. And they're probably going to want to use it. Yeah. I don't see why he should blitz that. But maybe he knows something that I don't. Ouch. Okay. So we're pretty safe. We're pretty safe. Now what should I be doing? What should I be doing? And what should I be doing? Mm, let's see if we can sort of create some space. Let's run this guy. Well, maybe actually run him way up here. I think I'm going to do that and lend his strength a little bit. And maybe this is going to be a better trade. Yes, it is. Just to sort of move them up. Moving on up. And he is injured. And Hans Gruber is going to get points. And I think enough points to level up. Good old Hansi with the points. I love this guy. I love his beady little eyes. I, I just, you got to love him. Hans Gruber, thank you for being awesome. Now, what else are we going to do? This is still only a one die roll, and I think I want to even the odds a little bit. Now, I know that this is not, I mean, probably not the smartest thing to do, but I do really want to get him down. I want to get him down, you know? Boom, bitch. Boom. Sit down, son. Okay, so what should we do? Now, he can just, like, totally jump over me and shit. So, I really should be a bit more careful about this. Now, I think I'm just going to go right here. Be behind and sort of close in on these guys a little bit. And I want to get in there and sort of get in their faces. Like that. You should stay. Because then you can, with your blitz move, go down here and be a real nuisance to this guy. And also... No, no, you should just stay here and make sure that they don't run around too, too much. Now, this should be a pretty good roll. Indeed it is, but it does not help me out quite as much as I would have wanted to. Well... Okay. Okay. Too bad. Too bad. No, there's only a couple of 
a bit more risky moves left. I do have a bunch of rerolls, and I should definitely try and use those. Manny the Mustache is gonna finally get him down, and yeah, what else do we have? I mean, this is pretty open, but I think it's gonna be okay, especially since they only have two turns left. Let's get him up here as such and go ahead and follow. Yeah, and that's all that I can do. Now, what are you gonna do about it, Kislev Circus? What are you gonna do about it? He's gonna stand up his bear, not gonna use a blitz action on him. Okay, he's gonna stand up his guys. There's the blitz action, and that is actually gonna be uh, an advantage for them. Which is too bad, because now we're leaving it pretty open here. Okay. But no, but he has very long legs, and he just runs right by, and he's actually gonna be pretty much able to score next turn if I don't do anything about it. Now, what can I do about it? Oh, that is a turnover, and that is very, very good. Now, that is something, that is something, and I might just be able to run down there and get him. I think I can actually get him with this pretty easily. Now, the catcher has some sort of skill. What is that? Pass block. No, okay, that is not going to help him right now, I think. So, I think that this is going to be the safest option. Now, do I want to do something else first? No. I think I'm gonna stamp this guy up, but that is all I'm gonna do, and then I'm just gonna go down here and maybe even down here and then like that. Yeah. Okay, come on, brain. And you do indeed get him down. You can go ahead and follow. Hopefully he gets injured or something. He gets stunned, which is also quite decent, and there is there it is. So, yeah, so let's free up some of my hobgoblins. I don't have a lot of time left. Okay, so let's... We're gonna have to take some chances if we want to try and score. And of course we do want to try and score. Now we do fortunately get this bear down. Go ahead and follow. Oh, and something is happening. No, he's just stunned, but that means he does not have him next turn, and that is very, very good for us. Now, I'm going to have to do some pretty, pretty crazy stuff to try and make this happen, but by darn it, I'm going to do my very, very best. Um, yeah, that, I'm not really doing too well here, but maybe we should just do what we can right now. Now, you know what? Let's just try and open up the field a little bit more. I think this is going to be good. That does not actually give us anything extra. There we go. There's our two die roll. It's only a push. Hmm. He's going to have to follow. That did not really help me out too much. I do get two dice, two dice uh, with this guy. So there's, there's that. Hopefully he's going to get injured or something. Nope, he is not. Okay, so here to our grand grand plan. Well, maybe I can just sort of get this guy here. And then have Freddy Fro Frostbite Freddy lay down the law. Uh, we do get a bit more space. You're going to go ahead and follow. Okay, now to our risky move. Here we go. Pick it up, Freddy. Pick it up. Our new player actually manages to pick up the ball. He's going to run over here. And he's just going to hand it to Little Green. So Little Green is going to try and get the ball. He does actually manage to get the ball. Now, he's just going to run downfield like there is no tomorrow. And he's even going to go for it because we have not used our reroll yet. And he's gonna go for it even more. And there we go. So they're gonna like spend all of their resources to try and get me. And they're probably gonna be able to because they have a decent agility. But maybe we can score next turn? I mean, that would be pretty darn great, wouldn't it? Yeah, so let's end the turn and see how it goes. See how it goes. 
Run, little green, run! Okay. So already he's gonna dodge out of the way, and he manages to dodge out of the way. It is a one die roll, and he can get unlucky, but indeed he does not get unlucky. We do, and we are out of there. Okay. So I think that was it. I definitely think that was it. See, that was good, but he might just re roll that and get out of the way. Yeah, indeed he does. And. He succeeds, and does he succeed in picking up the ball? No, because he was going for it. I'm not sure where the ball went there, but okay, so what can I do? What can I do? Is he even able to, he is actually able to reach it. Okay, so here's what we do. We're gonna have to go for it a couple of times. And I think we should actually do it with this guy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try and get him out of the way and we succeed so a push but a push is all we need go ahead and stay okay a push is all we need now we do not want to be using our rerolls for anything else than the, other than this so let's try to pick up the ball and run down in the end zone there it is a lot of uh, rolling dice here but I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He fumbles it. That is the worst that could happen. He's gonna try again. And he misses it. I mean, I think that we did pretty well there, considering where we were. But it is gonna be a one for nothing uh, first half, which is okay, I think. And uh, next half, we're gonna be uh, the attackers. We have a dead player on their team, so there's that. I think we're doing pretty well, well guys. So we're gonna put a card in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please hit like and subscribe. And next time we're gonna kick these guys behinds. So uh, yeah, check that out. I'll see you later.